Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. Welcome to our weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. We are pleased to welcome Dr. James Lavelle, Program Chair of A4M's Peptide Certification Program. We are going to discuss the emerging role of peptides in disease state management, performance health, aesthetics, and anti-aging strategies. Welcome, Dr. Laval. How are you doing? Great. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We're visiting with you here in A4M Anaheim, our first in-person conference since the pandemic, and you are presenting Peptides Module 1. Can you tell us more about this peptide certification program? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm pretty excited about putting this peptide course together and, and creating a certification for the course because I think for a lot of clinicians, they want to know where the rubber hits the road. Like, what are the practical applications for peptides? And then also, what I think is really important is understanding the legal landscape. So we went from understanding the opportunity and how to include peptides as a part of that toolkit that helps you to manage that patient. There's under ever more influence of metaflammation and, and inflammaging, and now we've got this powerful and promising tool. I mean, a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of peptides that are already FDA approved drugs. And so this isn't as though we're talking about something that's in, you know, it's an evolving science and it's something in the future. It's actually here. We see that it's being applied in large patient populations. And I think for clinicians, they just wanna get clarity on, well, what's the legal status? How are these made? You know, do they work orally? And then in addition to that, I hand-selected clinicians that are world-class leaders in terms of how they utilize peptides within their practice, as well as being great educators so they can take that information and they can deliver it to the, to the doctor and then allow that doctor to get back on Monday and say, all right, I understand how I can utilize this and when. Module two will be at A4M Vegas in December. Can you tell us more about that? Well, I think module two becomes this, you know, the, the building block upon the foundation of what we taught in module one. And so we dig deeper into um, senescence and senolytics, meaning, you know, how we age and how we can look at targeting that whole issue of chronologic versus biologic age. How do I optimize and turn that aging clock back as best I can in addition to that? And then, so therefore, we're gonna cover a lot of cool topics like, you know, what do you do to help with immune system homeostasis? And how do we help with metabolism on individuals? Because after all, you know, weight gain and obesity are still the big looming problems in our society, so we need to be able to address that. And then in addition to that, I think what's really great is that we're going to have very focused modules on aesthetics. So how to, how to use peptides for the skin, as well as how to use peptide therapies, along with other therapies for the hair. And that's the one thing I wanna emphasize. It's not just about the peptides that you're going to use or that you'll learn and how to put them on your skin or whether you're using them for a particular problem. It's understanding where that whole person is at, what nutrients that are important in order to get success with that individual, what are the global considerations and recommendations you should be making? Uh, because as we all know, when a person is more metabolically competent, meaning you know their nutrition status is good, they're sleeping, they're not under a stress state chronically, which are all the things you learn at A4M, whether you're going to the BHRT or the endocrinology uh, components to our education, it's how do I apply all those tools I learned and then add to that toolkit? And I think with, with the level two cert, you know, course and the certification course that we've got going out to uh, it, in Vegas, the best thing about it is, is that you're gonna build on that and then you're going to be able to see even deeper relevance as to how you apply and put all these things together. If the general consumer wants to know more about peptides and peptide therapy, where would you suggest they go learn more? 
Well, obviously, there's a ton of information out in the marketplace about peptides. I think some of it's misleading. I think that there are peptides that are being sold online that are not for human use. They're for lab use only, and people should understand what the difference is for something that's not for human use and for human use. So I think there's a lot of confusion out there for the consumer. So, you know, from my perspective, if they can look at the public site at uh, the International Peptide Society, because uh, we've got a lot of great key opinion leaders that are weighing in there. Obviously, we're relaunching all of the uh, education and information there, so there'll be some public-facing information there that I think could add value for a consumer to make intelligent choices about, you know, well, you know, A, what are peptides? B, should I think about them? And then the third and most important point is, why should I worry about this aspect of for human use versus buying, you know, for laboratory use only things to, to put in my body? Right? So I think there's a lot of uh, information that the consumer needs to distill. I think in the end, they should try and find a practitioner that maybe is experienced at it, has been trained. Of course, being an advocate for A4M would be being trained by uh, a doctor who has been trained at A4M. Uh, and I think that'll give them some you know, good solutions. Can this certification be done online through A4M? You know, I think this is fantastic now. Our new virtual world that we're in has created some advantages. Obviously, um, people are traveling a little less, but we still need to keep moving the needle on our education so that we continue to provide for people the best care possible from conventional care to more integrative and lifestyle medicine applications and regenerative medicine applications. And so what I really, uh, I have to say, enjoy about you know, A4M's forward thinking uh, is that you can get a online certification. The courses are completely you know, taped. You're able to be able to listen to them, get all the information you need, participate on the, uh, on the International Peptide Society to be involved in the forum, get questions answered, look at cases, be able to get information. And so you're completely able to do this online. I would encourage the interaction live, at least for one of the two courses, because I have to tell you, there is a tremendous amount of excitement that's occurred with the launch of our first course. We have a lot of healthcare providers in the room just simply saying it's one of the best education courses that they've ever taken. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Laval, for spending your time with us today and sharing your insights and expertise on the peptide certification. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, I have been to one previous A4M class, and that was IV therapy, and after that class, I became very interested in all that A4M had to offer. And the traditional model of looking at systems-based medicine was not necessarily the best and the only way to treat patients. So I thought that coming here to learn a little bit more about peptides, which is a more innovative and clearly a more progressive approach to taking care of patients today would be a wonderful way to enhance my practice. And actually it's patients who mentioned it to us that are you doing peptides? And I was like, what is that? So the interest started about six months ago. We've done a lot of research and that's why I'm here. There's some challenges, right, with regard to waiters, with regard to regulation, but uh, I think from a science and opportunity perspective and the experiments that other people have run, it really provides a very, very evidence-based trail of, of what's to come. Peptides are just a, an amazing um, field that I think would be a great addition for uh, any practitioner that would want to just help their patients in a natural way.